Well, good morning, happy gardeners. How are you this morning? This is Ed from The First Time Gardener. And hey, in today's video, we are going to be planting some cauliflower and some cabbage in our bed here that we've been growing in our grow trays and they are ready to come out. They're uh, good and well hardened off, ready to go on the ground. And I'll try to get them in as quick as I can so they can start establishing themselves and growing before um, you know our weather turns too hot because here in central florida it has a tendency to get hot real hot real quick and uh you know they're uh, a cool to cold tolerant uh plant so i don't want them to bolt so um this is february 22nd of 2024 and i'm planting them today with the hopes that you know before the heat sets in really really good in uh you know end of uh, march april that these things are well on their way and we can uh get some harvest out of them before um you know they it gets too hot and they start bolting so anyway that's today's video we're going to show you how to prep the ground which is um not going to take too much um, these beds have been amended a couple times so basically we're going to put some uh, triple 10 in mix it in with some uh black cow compost and that's basically it uh, and we'll probably put some blood meal in uh, where we're going to be planting these uh, seedlings in just to give that a uh, little bit of uh, nitrogen boost to them so that their um, foliage and leaves will uh, kind of blow up as soon as they get their feet established in the soil so stick around we'll be back in just a few minutes to show you how we're going to put these in today all right guys, I'm just taking my uh, little four prong rake and I'm just um, loosening up the ground a little bit because we haven't had anything growing here in a while and um, it's really dry. So I'm just breaking up the dirt a little bit and I'm going to hit some water on here before we put our black cow and our 10, 10, 10 in here just to kind of loosen us or uh, give the more uh, some moisture into the soil gather and if you can see you can see how the winds just blowing it it's pretty dry and I didn't have this covered up. I wasn't growing any um, cover crop in it or anything like that. All right, so it's loosened up. I'm gonna get the water hose and uh, give it some water. I've tried to come, uh, well, we had some rain. Actually, we had a lot of rain for three days down here last week it just for three days straight it never stopped raining from a downpour to um, just rain and that was for two and a half days solid and it's amazing that was just a week ago and how bone dry this stuff is now so this let's talk a little bit about the bed um, I did grow cabbage and um, cauliflower here over the winter and we've harvested all and it was I've got some of the biggest heads of cauliflower I've ever seen and it was the first time growing that so um, that worked out real well so I'm growing the same varieties I had some seeds left over from uh, when I planted in fall and we're going to use the same variety now this bed has been amended and grown in probably three or four times so i don't have to do a lot of amending like i did on the last couple of videos you've seen where the corn was um, that was virgin ground and i did uh, two small amendments and then one really big heavy amendment um, so that ground is pretty well set now um, so from now on anything i grow in those beds won't have to be amended a lot same way with this one here we just keep adding stuff 
uh, a little bit of stuff. So today's amendment basically is just going to be triple 10 fertilizer. And then we are going to put some black cow down and we're going to turn that in. And that's typically all we're going to use uh, for the amendment of the soil. And then as I take each of those plants and plant them from the grow trays into the uh, earth bed here, raised bed, whatever you want to call it, we are going to throw in a handful of blood meal, which will promote the nitrogen so that when they get over the transplant shock and the roots actually start going into the ground, they'll get a boost of nitrogen, which will help push that foliage out. And that's what we want. And that's going to be it for this, for this planting. And then uh, we'll plant these things. I'll show you how we plant them. And then we're going to give it another good watering after they're planted. And then uh, we're going to sit back and watch it grow. And I'll give you some updates of the garden throughout the year of how things are going. All right, let me finish this up and get set with the black cow and then I'll come back. I saturated the ground. I let it sit about 10 minutes to soak in. I leveled it as much as I could. You don't want a bunch of rolly hills. So I leveled it the best I could. So now I'm just gonna put down some 10, 10, 10. And then on top of that, we're gonna put some black cow and then we're gonna uh, turn it in. So I just do a, a good few handfuls. This is a slow releasing fertilizer. So it'll start feeding right away and then throughout the next two or three months as these granules break down and I'll show you in case you haven't seen that's what the fertilizer looks like and each one of these here as the time goes by each one of these different components will start breaking down and putting nutrients into the soil where the plants can feed on and then the black cow is your uh, manure that's going to fertilize your plants. And then, like I said, that um, blood meal that I put in is gonna give it a good shot of nitrogen. And we should be pretty well on our way and all that we really have to do, um, for the most part, along the way, I'll probably do some sort of a like a fish emulsion to give it another shot of nitrogen after it's been growing for you know maybe six to eight weeks we'll hit it with another liquid um, nitrogen that the uh, plants can absorb you know quite quickly because the blood meal takes a little while to break down and get in the soil so that the roots of the plant can absorb those the nitrogen out of the soil all right let's uh put the black cow in there I think um, three bags is all we're putting in here. I think that's going to be more than sufficient. Because like I said, we are going to um, put some liquid fertilizer in down the road. Okay, now you just want to uh, level this out so we have maybe about two inches above the ground. And then we're going to get our tiller and till it in. So now I'm just going to... Um, get the tiller and we're going to till this in and this little machine guys has made life so much easier on tilling this stuff up than doing it by hand um, uh, fortunately my sister didn't use this anymore and she actually gave it to me to use so god bless her i'm so tickled to death that i have this machine and if you're doing a lot of gardening uh, even the size that i have i don't call myself a big gardener don't have a lot of room but um, this definitely comes in handy so if you ever get the opportunity to get yourself one it makes life uh, so much easier all right so let's till this in real quick and then we're gonna get to planting all right that's simple that's all it takes and then we're gonna now rake it smooth and then we'll uh, get our plants and start planting.
right guys so so that's it i've got my blood meal ready to go we're going to go over and get these seedlings i'm going to show you those and then we're going to put a handful of this blood meal under each seedling that we're going to be planting in the ground so let me go get that set up and we'll be right back all right guys here is our seedlings as you can see they have a lot of good true leaves on them now and they've been hardened off for a good couple weeks um, out in the garden so we are ready um, to plant these so these are the cauliflower and these are the cabbage some of these cells have two or three plants in them so when we pull the little um, plant out before we plant it we're going to trim it down to just one plant uh, we don't want two of them growing at the same time so let's get this started for a gauge I'm just going to use the width of this bag I'm going to put it against my wood and right there is where I'm going to put the seedling in so we have our tag that says cauliflower on it I'm going to put this at the end so that I know which which is what and it also has the day we started so we started these seeds the 29th of December today is February 22nd so they got a good good amount of time that they've been growing so I just want to show you up close so we have a good root structure that's growing in there and we're looking at both of these and you can see you can see the difference this one's kind of like a very skinny and it's got a weird shape to it this one's a little thicker straight it's taller it looks a lot better so that's the one that we're going to pick to go in the ground and this one here I'm just gonna snip off well there just snip off and throw away and this is going to be our specimen that's going to grow our cauliflower oh just so just so it's up close so when i dig the hole and bury the hole i'm going to put some blood meal in it and i'm going to bury it level with the top of this here you don't want to go and bury it deep up into the stem you want it just flush with this here and pack it around really good and then we're going to water it in so going to dig a little hole there i'm going to put a handful of blood meal like it's like two big tablespoons full just stir it around a little bit with your finger and we're going to plant that in there First one set. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do them about every uh, 12 inches, 12 to 14 inches apart.
even being at this little stage, these things are tough. Like, they're hard to snap off. I should get my scissors. I'm just gonna plant this and cut this other one off. I don't wanna damage the root system. Okay guys, there you go. We got six plants planted. I'm gonna plant one more down here. That'll be seven. And then I have a bunch of backups in case uh, one of them perishes or whatever. I'll have a few backups to uh, replant. Okay guys, we're going to do our cabbage now. That was the cauliflower we planted. Here's our tag that we are going to put down at the end here. And we're gonna do the same thing we did over there with the cauliflower, we're gonna do with the cabbage. Now you can see this one here. It actually, it actually had roots going through the hole, going into the crown where they were growing in my garden over there. And there's some weeds here. So this one's nice and fat. Here, that's the one we're gonna keep. I'm gonna plant these here, I'm gonna get my scissors and then just chop it off right at ground level. Um, I don't like to pull them out because you can mess up the roots on the good one. So I'll just snip it off and that will die out and promote the growth on the new one, on the other, the one that's left. So there we have our cabbage and cauliflower planted. We're gonna give it a good watering right now. And then we're gonna come back in about two weeks and plant in the middle our um, beets. And hopefully in a couple of weeks, this plant will be out of here where we can uh, start finishing planting our, um, our uh, cabbage there. We have those for backups and if I I might end up putting a couple of those in buckets just to try to grow one in a bucket of each um, and we'll follow that along just in case you guys don't have room for a garden or whatever uh, you can grow these in buckets as well I have never grown them in buckets yet so um, we'll try to do that together um, I will plant one of each of these in the bucket and we'll follow that along with our garden so i hope you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you would uh, mostly appreciate it and our, our channel is really growing uh nicely so and if you have a friend that likes this content or you think they'll like this content please share this video with them and all my videos in fact for that matter and if you watch the videos from start to finish it also helps me with YouTube push these videos out. So uh, that would be great if you would do that as well. So if you have any questions about what I did or if you have comments or uh, let me know if, it's, if you plant yours different than I do mine, leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. So until we see you on the follow-up update on these later on in the growing season, take care. God bless. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.